we are here this morning to discuss this issue as it relates to uh, your pension benefits, that your severance benefits that you are, you guys are currently still awaiting. Um, come on, I would just like to ask by just speaking for the, for the, for the, the, the record purposes, for the, for the information purposes, for the viewers. Um, how, how, how much years have you served the corporation? 43. 43 years. Yes. Yes. And come on, how much years have you served? Over 40, 40 years. Um, Over 40 years. So, and you are just, you guys are just two of two the, of the of almost 35 the, yeah. retirees that are currently um, severed from the corporation by virtue of retirement, yeah. yet still awaiting your severance benefits in accordance with the collective agreement. Yeah. Right? Um, mm -hmm. Now, if you would like, can you just give me a brief, give us a brief rundown as to what transpired before your retirement? What led up to your retirement and what what the treatment has been since you have retired? So you indicated to me that you wrote the corporation two years before via letter telling yeah. them that of your intention to retire well two years from that date. Yeah, well the corporation normally sent out a PO in November of every year. Right. Informing the employees of with, um, optional retirement okay um, is up is, is, is optional it means who wants wants to go before the, the, the age of 65 correct then you you can do so via writing a letter informing them of your intentions of, of going optional. Um, I did go optional because I left at 63 with 43 years in service after I realized it had nothing more to come for me. I have decided to quit. Right. Or unlike my my friend here who had, who had reached the, 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 the age, retirement age. Right. Okay. You see? So when you wrote that letter, did you get any response? I got, I wrote that letter um, soon after, and um, I got a response. I wrote that letter in 2014. And did the corporation and respond? I got a response early 2016. So it took the corporation two years, two years to respond to, respond to your correspondence. To my correspondence. Yet still, they do send, to, send out annually requests to the corporation workers asking them to to communicate to them the intention of the workers, various workers to retire. Yes. But when you, they get but that they, communication, they don't respond. They, they don't respond right away. They don't two respond years. right away. So it took them two years to respond. Yes, that's the document there. Now you um you retired as of the your last working day would have been the the third or the tenth month twenty sixteen. Yeah. So on the 3rd of October, you officially, officially retired. retired from the and so we are in accordance with the collective agreement. And I, for the for record purposes, I would like to refer to the collective agreement. Um, you, um, according to the collective agreement, you um, have a right to severance calculation for your years of service, yes. right? Um, and I will not go into the calculation um, formula, but we are in July of 2017, so it's almost uh, we are heading into one complete year that yes. you have been out without a salary, without a salary, without any form of um, uh, co income, right? And I am assuming that you would have made plans to do certain things in your life at the end of your employment status. And you moving into retirement, including my great, 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 great for a while. Wow. Including my great for, for, for a while. And because of that, I was still long at the embassy. So because of that, so issue, your life has been in perpetual and freeze mode, yeah. more or less. You have, your life has been frozen, frozen. since you retired. Yeah. You just sit down here waiting. Yeah. Have Anybody since you retired, anybody via correspondence, telephone call, or otherwise, contacted you 
to say to you in any way, what is the status of your retirement? No. So you have you have gone home and there is no information forthcoming. Have no. you attempt, attempted to contact the corporation on this several system? locations? What has I been your response? I contacted the, the IR. IR department? IR department um, headed by Miss Miss Parks? Miss Parks. Okay. And um, all I get from Miss Parks is, I'll call you back. I'll call, call. I'll, I'll call you back. Okay. And she never did. Did you attempt to go into the corporation? On several occasions. And did you meet with anybody? Yes, I met with the, with the rep, the, the clerk who deals with severance. Who is, who is that? Miss Kamla. Okay. And did she and, have any um, information? Every time I contact her or go eat her. She said, boy, everything is still still in the same. They're still waiting on, on, on funds from the government. That is all I, I am here. So you, so they are basically telling you that they don't have any money to pay. They're waiting for the government to give them the money to pay. Yes. So your life after serving this corporation for 43 years. Yeah. You are now being told that you have to wait, wait and hope. Yeah. You have to wait and hope. Yeah. That's what you're being told. And comrade, as the union is aware, there are 35 or so persons like you, persons who left even before you, before me, and waiting, going into two years now for this payment. And I can assure you that one or two of them who have retired or waiting have died and are still waiting. So people have retired and died waiting and for still waiting. And they, they literally they died and still waiting. And now the family is sitting on the, on the wings on the wayside waiting. Because when you die waiting on your, your, your severance, if you don't have a will, then that is another story because that is you another go to four the five estate years and, before wow. you can collect. Wow. Because it has to go now to the to letters of administration and that takes a while and that also takes money. Well, well, how do you feel? And I would like you to really give me your personal opinion here. How do you feel as an individual having served this corporation for 43 years and you are a former trade union leader? Yes. Having been the former president uh, uh, yes. of having the Amalgamated Workers Union. Served here from, for a number of years. How do you feel? as a citizen of this country, a public, a former public servant, a, a, a resident of the city, how do you feel in relation to the treatment that has been meted out to you by the state? Total disrespect. Total disrespect, and not for myself, but for, for my fellow workers who work for over 35 and 40 years. It is total disrespect from the corporation point of view, and from the government point of view is total disrespect. Total disrespect on behalf of the finance minister and the minister of local government. 